In 1905, the arts in Quebec were not very developed. Since radio and television did not exist yet, culture was often transmitted orally. People would often gather to sing songs and tell each other stories or legends. There were a lot of people who still didn't know how to read, so books were not that popular yet. Until the beginning of the 20th century, most famous songs that were known and sung by Quebecois were part of French folklore. The authors of these traditional songs were largely unknown. For example, the song La Claire Fontaine was one of the best known traditional songs in Quebec. At the time, music in Quebec was influenced by Celtic music and Irish jigs. Evening dances were very popular during this time period, and the people often gathered to sing, dance, and party. In the 1930s, Mary Travers, who was also known as Le Bulduc, became very popular by singing songs about life of French Canadians. She released several records, and for one of the very first times, a female author was known for her songs. Several other French Canadian artists followed her example, and the Quebec music scene rapidly grew in popularity from that moment on. Literature and theater followed a similar path as music, with the first original works from Quebec appearing around the end of the 19th century. Before that, people mostly read books from France. Books written in Quebec often copied the French style. Emily Naliga was one of the first Quebec poets to be internationally recognized for writing about life in Quebec. Quebec also served as a backdrop for a famous novel written by French author Louis Hemant, entitled Marie Chapdelaine. The novel tells the story of French Canadians living in Lac Saint Jean region. The book was sold around the world and translated into several languages and adapted for the big screen several times. Following this success, French Canadian authors became more interested in Quebec. For example, Claude Henri Grignon published Un homme et son péché, A Man and His Sin, in 1933, which became another very popular novel about rural life in Quebec.